<sighs> I hate working on the farm. It's just such a boring job. Just growing all the wheat. Oh, damn it. Hey, a red beacon light. Well, that must mean my chest is ready. Now it will be filled with all the pressures I want. So let's take a look. Hello everybody, it's Miki and welcome to another tutorial. Today we have got this little thing over here. And so far I haven't given it a name. Why? Because it's... I don't know how to call it yet. But I think I will just call it the beacon light item indicator. So when we head to the back, you can see this beautiful beacon light with a green yellow color. And when we put in an extra item into the chest, you will see this yellow be this beam will become completely yellow. When you fill up the chest to its maximum, the light will turn red. So this is an easy way to see how many items are in your little contraption from a far distance. And just to show you that it actually works, I now filled up the chest to nearly everything. Just one more block and the light, which is at this moment orange, will turn red. So we put in the item and it's red. Just like that. So let's start with the tutorial. So first of all, we are going to need some blocks of iron to build our little beacon. So you can make the beacon as large as you want. But for the purpose of this machine, you only need a beacon of this size. So then the beam comes out and you can start building. So first of all, we want to go out three blocks like this. Take out those two and make a little frame for yourself. Then once you're done, just replace those blocks with any block you like. I just like cyan wool. It doesn't really matter. You can also leave it white. But I like this color a lot, as you may know. Then I just want to place down these stairs upside down and our little chest over there, which will have more than enough space for this machine to work. Then we just want to go to the back and place a sticky piston right there, another one right there, and one up there as well. Next on the program is to choose your beacon colors. So for me, I'm just going to use some green stained glass, also some yellow stained glass and some red stained glass, but you can also choose for black, gray, purple, blue, whatever you like. As long as you remember which color indicates how full the machine is at that moment. So we are just going to place our blocks like that and we've got a nice little beam coming out of it. And then, it's time for us to start with the redstone. So let's start with the redstone experience. First of all, we want to place ourselves two blocks like that. And a redstone comparator running out of the chest over there. Another one running into the other comparator. And a an hopper over here. Then we just want to place a block right there. And two more blocks like this. Another redstone comparator. And once again one more. A hopper. Right there, doesn't matter if it runs into the comparator or not. It just has to be there and it must not get completely empty when filled. So then we just want to go up like this with some redstone dust. A block over there and once over there. Another comparator like that. And now you know what's going to happen. We're going to place another comparator running into it. And another hopper right there. Then we just want to place some redstone dust over there. Two more blocks like this, and one over there. Another comparator, and once again another one facing into that comparator over there. Some redstone dust, and once again another hopper over there. So now all the hoppers and comparators are in place. So we just want to build out three blocks like this. Some redstone dust over the top. A torch over there. Another torch over there. A block right there. With a redstone repeater on top. And you're as much as done. So and now the only thing left to do is fill up the hoppers. And because I'm the rich fancy guy. 
I'm just going to use some block of diamonds just for the fun of it. So this first one we are going to fill up with one and a half stack. The next one is going to be two and a half stack. The next one we are going to fill up to four. And then the very last one is going to be filled up completely. So if you are not a fancy guy like me, I do not recommend using blocks of diamond, of course. So then you just have to fill up your chest and you will see that the beacon light will change to the color you made it to. So I really hope you liked it. I really hope you did. And if you did, be sure to follow up the experience next time and maybe consider giving it a like. So let's see you the next time with the experience. And of course, this wasn't the Mr. Chickles tutorial if Mr. Chickles himself wasn't here. So say goodbye, Mr. Chickles, and wave your hand. Just smiling is also fine.